Hi, I'm Joseph Panel from Dusky the Bell Tents. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you one of our tents. Uh, the one we have here is a 5 metre bell tent, uh, but the principle is exactly the same for a 4 metre. Alright, so here we go. So first things first, I'll uh, show you the canvas carry bag and the peg bag. So this is the canvas carry bag your bell tent will come in. It's a great oversized bag and it also has a PVC base at the bottom. Uh, this is important because when you're putting your tent back in the bag, you've got it on the ground and it's a wet day, if you're putting it in like that, you don't get water coming in through the base. So that's a really great feature. Okay. This is the bag your poles will come in. It's the same it's made out of the same PVC as the ground sheet, uh, so it's five, uh, 540 grams per square metre in weight. So it's a really high quality, heavy duty bag. Uh, some, some bags might be a nylon bag, that's easy to rip and break, but we include a really great, uh, high quality bag for our belt tent. So. These are the poles that we offer. Really high quality, strong poles. They're 32 millimetres in diameter and the steel is 2 mil thick. And if you see in the centre, it has a steel core. Um, some poles might come uh, with string in the centre. This one has a steel core, so it's very, very difficult um, to break or snap. So, really good high quality. So, our canvas is 285 grams per square metre uh, in weight. It's a great weight because it's light enough to carry, but it's also a nice, strong, heavy-duty weight. Um, the canvas colour is hard to show up um, on a video and also on different monitors and light conditions, so we would describe it as similar to Barrow and Ball Pale Hound, uh, so if you want to take a look, take a look at the colour chart to see it. It's important to remember, however, because canvas is a natural product, it will become a lot, lot lighter um, as time goes on because the sunlight will naturally breach the canvas. Um, it's just a great feature of canvas, but it does weather over time, so do expect. Um, moving on to the guy lines. Um, these are our Dusky Deer guy lines. Uh, they're a man made fibre, and the reason why we offer man made fibre guy lines rather than natural is because natural guy lines, like sizes for example, they will shrink when wet and they will then expand again when they're dry. They shrink anything up to 10% of their length, which puts a lot of stress on the canvas and can even pull the pegs out of the ground as well. So we offer the man-made fibre. We also have hardwood, beech, wooden sliders. We love them because they're a nice traditional look. They're very strong and they just add to the whole traditional feel of the tent. So really proud of our traditional wooden sliders to really finish off the tent nicely. Yeah. These are the pegs that we offer. These pegs here are pin pegs and they are for pegging down the ground sheet and also the elastic loops. These stakes are for the guy lines. These are very high quality pin pegs but these stakes very 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 strong. Um, they are 22 centimetres in length and one centimetre in diameter and they're solid serrated steel so they're very strong, very virtually impossible to bend or snap and because they're serrated very hard to get out the ground so it's important to have high quality strong and pegs. The above pens, we include an additional set of pin pegs we include these so that you can peg the elastic loops separately the reason why we do that is because without a third set of pegs you would naturally hook the elastic loop underneath the pin ground sheet peg. It's not a very good idea to do that because on a windy day this slowly starts to pull the pin peg out of the ground, especially if you've got wet ground. Another good another reason why you don't want to do this is because the canvas overlap here, which overlaps underneath the zip, if that starts collecting moisture on it, it gets pushed up against the zip and you can get moisture starting to wick through the zip, through the canvas and onto the zip and then eventually into the bell tent. So, we include a third set of pegs so you can pull that out and peg separately. That way you get a much stronger bell tent, you 
you've got three pegs instead of two and because you've got a small air gap between the canvas and the zip you don't get any wicking through the canvas onto the zip so it's a really great feature that we offer so we use wooden ties to pin the door back um, this I mean you can you can tie the door shut without using them but it makes for a much more traditional look just to have a nice wooden button that we used to pin the door back with just adds to the o overall traditional authentic look of the bell tent so we're always trying to have a really functional tent but we also want to focus on you know traditional aspects of it and we think we've achieved that with a lovely wooden tie there companies will provide a plastic rain cap we also provide this but as standard we also provide a lovely wooden dolly it's ash and it just really finishes off the tent nice it looks traditional it looks authentic and it really sets off the whole tent beautifully uh, we're very proud of our dollies and we provide them as standard just to create that nice authentic rustic feel that you want from a bell tent this is a cable inlet say you want to put a power cable in, you put your power cable in through there and then push that inside, do that up there and then again using the third set of pegs, elastic loop peg over the top. So you're completely sealing that in and you've got a really easy cable access, that's a nice feature of our tents bathtub style ground sheet is, is that it goes up like that so that during adverse weather you don't get any water coming into the bell stem but another great feature is that you can also peg the ground sheet flat so with a peg you would peg it down flat like that so that you have the feature of a bathtub and during good weather you've got a, a flat ground sheet as well so you've got two features on this tent now we're inside the bell tent, as you can see you get a, you get a load of headroom, so I'm six foot and I can't even reach the top, uh, so you get three metres of headroom, so enough for anyone. Uh, on the pole you have a, a hook so you can hang your light in. You've got a very secure A-frame hook in, um, so you've got them tied in at the base and also the leg of the A-frame goes through a, uh, a loop that's on the ground sheet. So that way you've got a very secure A-frame footing. Also inside the bell tent, as standard, you have fixings where you can hang in a tent. So you have a fixing here and a fixing at the base. Our bell tents are compatible with other uh, inner tents as well. So all standard fixing. So you can get a, a, an inner tent for your bell tent. Uh, moving on to the windows, all dusky deer bell tents have zippable windows with mosquito net in uh, so these easy to open and close and because you've got the mosquito net in you don't get any bugs coming into the bell tent. So really even though today's feature. a really hot day because canvas is a natural product it doesn't sweat like polyester or nylon so that it stays nice and cool on a hot day 